would be. Each each top off would be would be done with glass, either like right here or uh, maybe one level above it. Probably right here since there's torches above that, just to help give it some structure. Um, and that way, if I decide to put another level like right above it, I can do so. So yeah, it is becoming day, which is good. We only got so many uh, pickaxes, so we're going to go ahead and dig out the rest of this alcove. I'm trying to think of how big I want it, and I'm thinking maybe maybe three blocks. And the only reason that big is so we can make sure we have enough room for, for our stuff, uh, for the chests and all that good stuff. I don't know, what do you guys think? Two or three? I mean, we could probably do it with two, but that wouldn't give much of a walkway. If we do it three, we could have, like, chests on this side, chest on that side, and a walkway. So I think three might work best. So I'm going to work this out and basically get this three wide. And then I'm going to put chests and all that good stuff in. I'll probably put some signs. And then I'm going to get ready to start working on the actual main branches that I was talking about, the direction ones. And when I do that, I will make sure to show you guys. So stay tuned. We'll be back in just a bit. All right, everyone, welcome back. So we got our stuff situated. As you kind of see, I had a magma issue here that I've kind of situated. I think it looks pretty cool. Just get some glass here and made it move and make it look kind of cool. It's not that deep. It just it looks cool. <laughs> So we've got this all situated. We have our workbench, some smelters, and our two chests for now. Uh, as you can see, I've got the inclines for each of the main shafts and where they're going to be. This one had to be moved over because of the magma, um, but not a huge deal. We'll work around it. So I, I did double check the directions and everything, and west is the latter side. So this is west, this is east, which means this is north and this is south since sun always sets in the west always rises in the east north is always this direction you know n e s w or as my brother likes to say never eat soggy weedies <laughs> Just, yeah all the sign says is level one in progress okay so now that we know that we can go ahead and start making the main shafts i've got the inclines here I have their doors ready and their signs, so let's go ahead and grab them. Brought down a whole bunch of extra wood and stuff that we'll need. I'm going to grab the doors that we'll need, and I'm going to grab the signs that we'll need. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and start with the west mine. So basically this is going to be the, the main shaft of each direction, if you will. Uh, which will have the branches coming out from it will be three by three like a standard hallway that you guys have seen me make millions of times so not too hard to see how I'm doing that so there it is so now we'll just set that up there we go and just dig this out a little more Ooh, look, redstone already. Gotta love it when you keep hitting stuff. Alright. Now the door will be facing a very peculiar direction. It's actually going to face this way. That way if something's in this mine shaft and we have to retreat back to here and we need to close the door, we can. And we can fight it. That's the idea, anyway. So this is the mine shaft. So let me mark it. So West Branch, obviously, very simple. All right. We'll go ahead and do north next. Or sorry. My bad. South. There we go. 
boom, boom, boom. And again, just to give us a little extra room here. Go ahead and fix the roof. Now I'm leaving an open for now. Usually they well that one for now. Yeah, usually they will remain closed. Um, I'm not. Ex I don't know how you know when he fixes stuff up how much light we're gonna need. So having them closed is a good precaution. All right, and this is a South Branch. Just put a couple of lanterns along the side here. I'm saving that for last because that's a little uh, quirky one. Now, I have cobble here because I was walk going through a coal vein. And that's why there's some cobble here. Nothing horrible. But just in case you were wondering where that came from. I'm like, oh my gosh, is that a dungeon? No, it's not. It's just cobble because I was doing a coal mine cool vein that was here. So, we'll just place this. There we are. And boop. Place the door. And our sign. So this is the north branch, because that was south. So, like I said, I can easily say I'm in alpha mine, level one, Branch North my, uh, number 5 is the branch or something I'm on. It's kind of, or A, B, I can't remember exactly if I'm on a number, no, I'm on a num no, letter. Ugh, can't even make up my own mind, guys. I want to letter it, not number it, because then the numbers for the levels can get confusing. So, because of the lava over here, we are going to move. This branch will be a little bit off from the others, but that's okay. There we go. And of course, the door for that. East branch. It's very, very simple. That's basically how the branches go uh, and how they connect here to the main one. Like I said, most of them are, are centered. Unfortunately, this one wasn't quite as centered as I would have liked because of the magma. So basically, it's going to kind of start out where you see it here, and then later on, when we're, we're think we're clear of this magma pool that's above here, we'll, we'll kind of turn it to the right, and it'll center out a little more. I mean, it only has to go like maybe about three spaces looks like so you know to the right so it's it shouldn't be that hard to center how long will the branches be I'm not 100% sure yet I don't think they're gonna be longer than maybe uh, 32 blocks or something I'm not sure 100% I mean it depends on how I space my uh, my minds I guess and things like that so here we go we've got our, our stuff set up our branches pretty much in place, at least the start of them. We have a nice starting area here. I'm going to put some of this stone away already, just so we have a nice backup and blasted silt. Ugh. I, or gravel, or whatever the heck you want to call it. So, we will need more doors, and we will need more signs, because each branch will have a door. Each branch goes to little branchers. And uh, those little branches won't be very big. In fact, they're only going to be about two or three tall. They'll be three tall, basically. So they'll be the same height, you know, which you expect. But they're going to be ones, which means 
they're only going to have enough room for one, and that way I can mine anything on either side. And I think I'm going to space them two by two. So basically, you'll have, like, say, um, there was a branch, there was a branch entrance right here, and then there will be a space, space, and another one, and then space, space, another one, and then space, space, another one. So you guys will see that here as I get ready to do that. But I need more doors, and I need some signs. So I'm going to grab this sign. Got some, and I'm trying to decide which branch to start on. Yeah, I don't have enough wood for how many doors, so we'll just make three doors for now, and I'll set these doors over here. I want the sign. We're not. We won't make it right away. I'm just trying to. See what I can do here. Two, three, four, five. And there's another three doors. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we need some signs. I think what I'll do is I'll just dig down these branches, guys. And down as far as I want to right now and then when we come back I will show you how I'm doing the actual uh, mining branches so think of think of these branches the east branch north branch stuff like that as the as like the main corridors so this is like the main area of the mine the gathering area workshop storage and everything to and from the surface um, and then each branch is like a main corridor to the actual actual branches which actually have the mines Hopefully that makes makes some sense. Uh, so, so yeah, when we when we come back, I will hopefully have those dug out, and we'll start actually doing some mining operations. Show you how I'm doing that, uh, so you guys can see it. I think I needed three. No, just two. Oh well. <clears throat> so, see ya in just a bit. Hello everyone, quickshot 14 back here. Let's play Minecraft. So we got those uh, branches, main branches set up. Ooh, the lag. See, I did change uh, the cobblestone texture. I'm not 100% sure this is going to be. I went ahead and did that. Uh, update won't be today. It'll be tomorrow, apparently. Uh, but anyway, so the cobblestone texture could change. I haven't decided yet. So anyway, we have the branches set up. <laughs> I ran into lava over here and had to work around it but I also ran into lava in this branch as you can see so it kinda goes around and through I'll show you guys real quick as you see I just kinda glassed it in blocked it in set it up here and I don't know how far this lava lake goes but I've stopped it right here this this branch <laughs> is interesting to say the least so anyway we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna start these branches. Got my iron pickaxe and everything, so I'm going to take a couple signs and a couple doors for now. Whoa, come back here. Some nice bug fixes tomorrow, except <laughs> one bug fix is that gas and zombie men won't be burned by lava or by fire or do any damage anymore. I'm like, no! <laughs> but at least zombie men will forgive you over time, so that's I guess that's a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use we'll, use... we'll use this branch. We'll use the west branch as our branch that we want to use uh, to show this. So, I mean, I got some redstone in here already that I need to mine. So let me let me mine that really quick. And I'll show you how I'm going to set this uh, stuff up. Don't have any cobble on me at the moment, so I'll have to patch the roof later. Alright, so what happens is we have a two space and then a mine branch. So in this case, it's two space mine branch. Since we got uh, 
this over here we're going to go ahead and do the branch here plus it's already kind of nice and ready for us so so we're going to create the mine branch